Hello, Miranda Sanchez here. We're taking a look at the Mass Effect Andromeda official cinematic reveal trailer from N7 Day. Let's jump right into it. One of the biggest things we learned about Mass Effect Andromeda from N7 Day was the plot of the game. I and mean, that's pretty big. Uh, so, starting off, the Hyperion is going out to the Andromeda Galaxy, one of four arcs as part of this initiative. And it doesn't go so well for the members of the Hyperion. As we see in the first 30 seconds of this trailer, it's chaos. Uh, right here we see Scott Ryder, our new protagonist, and right here we see the Hyperion crash in the dirt. Not a good place to be. Um, the ship fighting toward it is probably the Tempest, which is our new Normandy. Then right here we see another one of the enemies we've seen before in past trailers and in art, and we know that this beast gets on the, or gets in a ship at some point and batters around some uh, Andromeda Initiative crew members, so it's kind of safe to assume that the Hyperion has crashed here, these guys caused some problem for the crew, and that this planet could actually maybe serve as a home base in a way, just because the Hyperion is here. So this desert planet could be a big part of the game. Then right here we see a very sad Scott Ryder in this rather isolated and sterile room, and he looks kind of troubled. One big part we know about Mass Effect Andromeda is that your father, Alec Ryder, is the Pathfinder, and at some point, something happens to him, possibly tragic, I would guess, maybe death, uh, and his responsibilities get passed on to you, whichever Ryder twin you choose to be. So this could be just right after that. Uh, then in this left corner, we see the Nomad, so it's our new Mako, and it's on fire, surprise. So, and then Ryder's walking off in the snow. We know that there's a lot of environments in Mass Effect. Here is a nice scene to look at just because we've seen this shot before. This is the deck of, we're guessing the Tempest. We don't really know. We know the Tempest is a smaller ship than the Normandy because it's made for stealth and just trying to be faster and a little bit quicker um, as you explore, but it's empty. The other shot we saw previously had the N7 at the helm, who we now know as Alec Ryder. And with him gone, maybe that's where we're at in this shot. And in the other shot, previously, there was also Solarians, and there's just more life on the ship, and this one kind of seems a little dark. Now, we get to look at the Ket. So these are our first intelligent species that we meet, or that we know of, at least for now, from the Andromeda Galaxy. And a lot of the times we see them in this trailer, they're very hostile. We'll see their backs. Um, and just like kind of make note of this armor, because it's different. On the bottom right, we see one Ket, and then... At the center, we see another cat floating toward this pillar. This room looks really serene and almost just nice. So I'm guessing this may be some religious site or just something special for the cat that is important to them. And my guess is that maybe something happens with the humans who are, you know, of course, exploring things and it maybe angers the cat. Makes sense if you're in a new place. Here we get a look at our squad, which is really important because, of course, Mass Effect is super big on squads, and these are the first ones we know about so far. So on the far right, we have Sarah Ryder. So regardless of which twin you choose to play as, both writers are important throughout the game. So you will have your twin with you. Um, and then in the center, we see PB, who is the Asari we've seen in previous trailers. She joins your squad as well. On the left, we have Scott Ryder, and next to him is another human companion that we have. His name is Liam, and that was revealed in the Game Informer cover story. He's also in most multiple shots in this trailer. We know he's part of the Pathfinders team and that at one point he was a security officer, so he kind of serves as that force on the team. Well. Oh, let me just get some good look at that technology and more of the technology. Uh, at this point, the voiceover says, I have a bad feeling, and it's obviously none of the people in this room, but that kind of alludes to maybe what they're doing right now is not a good thing. Obviously looking at some hologram of something important and whatever happens it's not good especially as we see in this next shot on the left we have scott Ryder. on the right we don't know who this is um it was confirmed by michael gamble uh, the mass effect andromeda producer on twitter that this was not sarah Ryder, and also just doesn't look like her face and her armor anyway uh but my guess is that it's the Andromeda Initiative's founder, um, Jen Garson. She introduced herself in the Andromeda Initiative trailer and kind of just explains that. But uh, it would make sense that we may get to meet up with her at some point during this adventure. Um, the next shot, of course, flashes back to some fire, and it kind of maybe looks like a landing site. Maybe this is where the Hyperion crash landed and the cat are investigating it. Not really sure. Um, but 
going back to them, we see a lot of bad things happening. In this shot especially, uh, there's something bad happened in that tower, and I have a feeling that it has to do with those control rooms that we've been seeing the humans in. Uh, and then we have a cat on the left looking up toward the sky, and it's, it's just a bad time. And then here we finally get a look at our N7, so assuming that this is Alec Ryder, which is a little weird because he looks a little young. Um, of course, he's wearing a helmet, so we can't really tell if he's young, but as a father of two twins, unless this is a different N7, um, looks a little young for that. But anyways, this is a cool shot of where we get to see some technology that they're using for this. Uh, I just want to stop on this shot because we see this planet a lot, but it's not really explained what it is or why it's important. It does not look like the Earth, and of course, even if it was, that's not the only important planet in the Milky Way. But we do see it a lot, so of course take note of it. Maybe this is the planet we crash land on. This next scene is important too because we see the N7 who we can assume is Alec and in the back is Scott, Ryder. And they're messing with something they probably shouldn't be based on the music and the tone the trailer's been taking until right now. Um, maybe this is what leads to him not getting, not getting out okay. Who knows? Then right here we have some sarcophagus looking things kind of moving in a line toward this blue room. I think this could be maybe sentries for the area that they're in. They could be some sort of ground troops or units that are, you know, patrolling and making sure everything is safe here. Would make sense. And here we have something busting out of the ground. It could be another one of those towers we saw in the first Mass Effect Andromeda trailer. Uh, and then we have no idea what this is. I mean, it could be another security device, or it could be like a relative of the Reapers. We don't really know. This takes place 600 years after the event, or 600 years technically away from the events of Mass Effect, or the original series. Uh, we know that our protagonists leave the Milky Way system about part of the way through Mass Effect 2, and then they get here 600 years later. So we don't really know what's up with the Reapers. There's not a canon ending. Uh, so we... this. This guy could be anything, but that's really exciting too, right? Now this guy looks like a big old thresher maw, but metal and has more tentacles. And it looks like it's gonna be fun to shoot at some point in time. And then of course right here is also a cool shot because this, this is the only scene that's kind of gameplay related, so. And we have them running away. It's a bad, another bad time. Uh, th another tool we get to see in this trailer is right here, this little drone. A big part, of course, of Mass Effect Andromeda is exploration, and having scouting tools would be very important. So seeing this is really exciting, so you can kind of get a better look at what you're about to head into. And of course, some bad drones, and we have another PV shot. This is another great shot because we finally get to see another species. We see the Solarians here running across this deck. Uh, away from something and it's interesting because they're not fighting and we know that Solarians can do that of course uh, so that maybe these are scientists and I think it'd be really cool to see if a big part of Mass Effect Andromeda is about finding the other arcs and maybe going to help them because we know that the humans got so off track so what happened to everybody else and then we get to this final shot which is a pretty interesting one uh, so if you remember the cat we've seen so far, they do not look like this. This one's super ornate, almost regal in its armor. Whereas this cat here is just very plain, a little bit more standard. And then right here, it has like that big old, almost crown protruding from its head. It's like a halo, it's interesting. Uh, also another interesting thing is creative director Mac Walters actually commented on the scene. Someone was asking, or referring to a gender for this character. Um, which Mac Walter is kind of disputed, so this may not be a male character, although the VO at this point is a male VO, so we're not really too sure who this is, or, but regardless, it's not friendly to our crew. Um, and of course, in this last scene right here, too, we want to take note that the squad is not in a good, good place because they look like they're chained up. So that's what we found in this trailer. Let us know in the comments below what you found, what your theories are for Mass Effect Andromeda. Uh, and of course, we want to pay attention to the things that were not in the trailer. There were no Krogans, Turians, or Quarians. We know there's a, Quor a Krogan in Mass Effect Andromeda because we've seen it in previous art. Uh, it's been confirmed that Turians are in the game. But as far as Quarians, we have no idea. But when we find out, you're already in the right place. IGN.